This video will teach you how to simplify complex numbers. When we simplify complex numbers, we typically end up with the square root of a negative number, and previously we would say that that number is not real. So when we have the square root of a negative number, we'll end up with an imaginary number, which we denote with the letter i. Tell me my Apple Pencil's dead. I is defined as the square root of negative one and so if we were to square both of those, we would figure out that i squared equals negative one. So here are a few examples of using imaginary numbers to simplify radicals. So previously, if we tried to take the square root of negative 20, we would have said it's not a real number. But now that we know about imaginary numbers, we can simplify this. So we would simplify by first getting this to just be positive 20. So we could break this down to negative one times 20. We previously would break down 20 as the square root of 4 times the square root of 5. The square root of negative 1 equals i. The square root of 4 is 2. And the square root of 5 cannot be simplified, so we leave it in the radical. Typically, we write the numbers in front of i, so we're just going to switch these two to be 2i times square root of 5. In the next example, notice that this time we have a cube root. And we can take the cube root of negative numbers. So this actually is going to be a real answer, not an imaginary one. So we would go to our chart and we would try to figure out what the cube root of 64 is, negative 64. And so that answer would be negative 4. Because negative 4 times negative 4 times negative 4 equals negative 64.